Okay guys, today we're gonna to get into the myth of the right arm and what I see going on today in the golf instruction world with a variety of coaches telling their students that they gotta have minimal bend in their right arm as they take the club back to the top and then come down into the ball. So we're gonna get into that today and I'm gonna show you why this isn't the best advice and what you need to do in order to play your best golf going forward in 2024. So one of the biggest issues that I see today going on in the golf instruction world is we have a variety of coaches who are showing their students that as they take the club back to the top, that their right arm, their back arm, has to have minimal bend in the elbow as they get to the top and then as they come down into the ball. And I'm gonna show you why that can work for some people, but it's not gonna work for others based on their own physiology. So let's get into it. So when we look at the golf swing for the average golfer who has average mobility, especially in their shoulders, one of the things that they're not going to be able to do is when they take the club back to the top like this, they are not going to be able to have minimal bend in their right arm. The reason being is because it shortens your hand path as you come to the top, okay? So you see a lot of coaches out there going, you gotta keep minimal arm bend in your right arm. So as you take it back to the top, there should be minimal bend. But the one thing that happens is if you keep minimal bend in your right arm as you take the club back to the top, what this actually does is it shortens your hand path length. And we know from research that shortening your hand path length is gonna lead to shorter distances off the tee, okay? You're just not gonna hit the ball as far as when you have your hands back up here behind you, okay? Because your hand path length is super important to giving you time to generate speed as you come into the ball. That is super critical to know, and I see so many coaches that are preaching this minimal arm bend in their right arm as they take the club back to the top, and all that's doing is shortening their hand path, and now they're swinging the club with five to eight miles an hour or less club head speed. And that is super detrimental to your game. And the major reason why they're teaching this is because they say that if you have minimal arm bend in your back arm or your right arm for a right-handed golfer, as you take the club back to the top and then come down into the ball, that you're gonna make better contact with the ball. And there is zero evidence that that is true. And there are a number of players on the PGA Tour who have more than 90 degrees of arm bend in their right arm due to physical limitations that are crushing the golf ball because they're getting their hands back way further than if they were to keep their right arm straight like this and shorten their hand path. So this is very important to understand. If I have a player and he comes to me and he has limited mobility and he can't get his arms back without having excessive bend in his right arm to get his hand path length longer to get to the top so he can hit it further, I am not going to instruct him or her to take the club back and have minimal arm bend so I have a shorter hand path and I'm gonna lose 10 miles an hour on my swing speed. I see this over and over and over again. Guys are shortening their hand path and losing speed coming into the ball and it's hurting their scores because distance is the name of the game today on the golf course. So it's very important to be aware of this. This is like the fad that's been going on for the last, I don't know, six months now, where so many of these coaches are getting on this bandwagon where they want minimal right arm bend as they take the club back to the top and thinking that it's gonna improve contact when in reality there is no proof of that at all, okay? And I've seen many guys that have more than 90 degrees of bend in their right arm who are killing the golf ball, gaining more speed, and still hitting it in the center of the face. Now I will say that if you can get your hand path long enough with keeping minimal bend in your right arm, you can go ahead and do that. That is not a problem and it'll probably create a better structure in your swing. But if you're somebody like me who has limitations in their shoulders due to surgeries and other situations where it could be bony or ligaments could be tight, muscles could be tight, tendons could be tight, and you can't get the club high enough with a long enough hand path without having excessive bend in your right arm, then I'm definitely gonna instruct you to let your arm bend so you can get that extra length because a longer hand path is gonna give you more speed into the ball. It's common sense. You can feel it too. Try the experiment out for yourself, guys. Go to the range and just try it. You can take it back 
and you can try and have that minimal bend in your right arm as you take the club back. And what you're going to notice right away is your, is your hand path length is going to shorten, okay? That's the first thing that you're going to notice. And then, if you're on a track mount device or a radar device, just hit some shots and see what your club head speed is from that range. Almost every single time, a longer hand path is going to give you more speed coming into the ball. And you need that speed. If you're not learning how to hit the ball as far as possible, and if you're not getting that from your coach, then your coach is doing you a disservice because distance is the most important part of the game. You've got to be able to hit the ball far. And if you take the club back and you're trying to keep minimal bend in your right arm, and what it ends up doing is shortening your hand path, and then you're coming into the ball with seven to eight miles an hour less club head speed, then that's just gonna be a non-starter. And you're gonna have a big drop off in your performance because you're just not generating enough speed coming into the ball to maintain where you were. Whereas if you were taking the club back to the top with a longer hand path and having more bend in your right arm so you can generate a little bit more speed coming into the ball.